much of a break out there, are they? They really yeah. aren't. And I don't know. Every time you look up, another storm right. is on Pops the way, yeah. Ev, it seems yeah. like. This is the third in six weeks, mm. you guys. The third in six weeks. But remember, Irma and Harvey were, of course, much bigger, but don't want to discount the fact that Nate could do damage as we head into the weekend over the Gulf there. So, again, passing over Honduras, uh, El Salvador, Costa Rica, as you mentioned, 21 deaths in the wake of the storm. It's currently a tropical storm, but it's going to re-strengthen to a hurricane as it heads close to New Orleans to Louisiana. Mobile, we are expecting, again, Nate to hit over the weekend. So we will continue to track conditions for you. We're also tracking very hot, dry conditions here at home. And as a result, we are looking at red flag warnings posted all across Southern California. You're going to see pretty much everybody looking at red flag warnings lasting through tomorrow evening for the L.A. Ventura County Mountains, also the Santa Clarita Valley, the Santa Monica Range, and the interior portions of Ventura County. And then we have another red flag warning kicking in for the majority of us, Monday lasting through your Tuesday because we're going to see offshore conditions re-strengthen. So for now, very hot conditions lasting through tomorrow, slightly cooler Sunday, and then more warming next week. So we're going to get to the extended forecast in just a minute. But first, I do want to get a look at temperatures outside this evening, and you'll see 87 downtown USC, 94 as we head to Fullerton, 96 as we head to Ontario, and 96 in Riverside. You'll see the coast very warm, LAX at 78 degrees. As we get a look at wind speed, all across Southern California, you're going to see pretty calm at the moment, but we're starting to see a little bit of a breeze develop along the coast there. Long Beach coming in at 10 miles per hour. So earlier today, downtown, we got up to 92. We were well above average for this time of year, average being 80. We were 12 degrees above average to be exact. Record numbers 102, so we didn't quite make it to triple digits. We were 10 degrees off record numbers, but still pretty impressive nonetheless. By tomorrow, we are expecting to get up to about 90 degrees for most of the basin, and we're flirting with the triple digits. Could even get there for some of our inland valleys. Let's get a look right here. You'll see Northridge and San Fernando both at 99. Manhattan Beach 86, 91. Norwalk 96. Alhambra. As we head to Fountain Valley, you'll see 92 degrees, Laguna Beach at 78, and as we head to the Inland Empire, you're going to see temperatures mostly in the 90s tomorrow, and Palm Springs hitting the century mark at 100 degrees. So high pressure continuing to build across Southern California. You're going to see it continuing to build from the west, and with that, offshore conditions continue. In fact, re-strengthening early next week and we could see the return of fire weather. In fact, red flag warnings already in place for Monday and Tuesday. Right now, those red flag warnings expiring tonight, but then again, hitting again Monday into Tuesday. You'll see a little bit of a break Sunday as that marine layer deepens. We'll see a bit of a cool down with 70s and 80s, but warming up again at least through the middle of next week, cooling by Thursday and Friday. But today, a really warm one. We saw 90s, and tomorrow we could get awfully close to those triple digits, potentially even making our way there. Pat and Rick, back to you.